Hello there, I'm Stephen Foskett of Grail Watch, and I am here recording a bit of a special video. Um, as you may know, I have a wide collection of watches, and as you may have read, I have been an enthusiastic supporter of the custom watch straps of Camille Fournay. Uh, they are the OEM maker of uh, many fine watch straps for brands, including Gégé Le Coultre, which is my favorite brand. Um, and in the past, I have ordered custom straps from them to match uh, even unusual and exotic watches. Um, for example, I bought one to match a uh, Freddie Con uh, Frederick Constant uh, uh, center lug ladies watch that I bought for my wife. Um, it came and it's absolutely beautiful, perfect, custom made uh, watch strap. I have also ordered a uh, similar, actually custom um, center lug uh, strap to match the original uh, OEM strap on the Jean Dev Samara, the world's first quartz automatic watch, which I recently purchased. Um, it's actually in for service right now at Universal in Michigan, so hopefully they will return it to me in working condition. Uh, they are the only people I could find who could work on such an unusual uh, movement. And, uh, you know, when that comes in, hopefully I'll be able to match it up with the, uh, you know, Camille Frenet reproduction of the original. Um, they also sell a lot of off-the-shelf straps. Um, I think a lot of people are intimidated by Camille Fournay because, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's a French uh, luxury leather goods company. I think they think that it's something, um, you know, maybe too exotic or high-end for them to afford. But the truth is actually um, that many of their straps are quite affordable, uh, including, um, you know, many of the off-the-shelf straps that they make there. Um, and even the custom ones aren't that expensive. Um, you know, to get a decent um, strap made out of real alligator leather, uh, you know, you're gonna be spending, uh, you know, well over $100, even from, um, you know, a cheaper brand. And frankly, that's gonna be a cheaper strap. During this uh, pandemic, I went through my watch collection and identified some watches that really could use a new strap. And I picked out actually five straps from Camille Frenet. As I mentioned, I've got the, you know, a custom one for the Jean Dev Samara. I also have a replacement strap ordered for this, my Lange Saxonia Thin 37 millimeter. Um, frankly, this uh, strap that came with it is not uh, very high quality. It's not um, up to the standards that I would expect from Lange. Um, the watch is, uh, the strap is already showing quite a bit of wear around the buckle. Now I do wear this watch quite a lot, but frankly, um, not holding up as well as some of the other straps in my collection. For example, the very similar strap that I've got on uh, my uh, Gégé Le Coultre Reverso, for example. Anyway, um, I uh, ordered a number of straps from them. One of them has arrived. So let's take a look at uh, which one it is. So as I mentioned, I ordered five straps. Uh, this is clearly just one because it's a, a little package, but uh, we'll take a look at it here. So it comes with a nice little card that says Merci. And I say, and I see back for uh, making such a lovely strap. So this is a uh, leather, uh, off, the sh off the shelf uh, leather strap that I ordered. Uh, 19 millimeter lugs, 16 millimeters at the buckle. Um, it comes with a buckle. Um, I got it in 115 millimeter by 75 millimeter. I've got a little bit larger wrists. And so it's nice to be able to get a strap that fits nicely around my wrist with you know, a little bit of extra instead of uh, you know having it uh, popping out here. So um, all the uh, Camille Frenet straps come in a lovely little box uh, like this uh, with a little pull-out drawer. Um, frankly, it's way too nice considering that you're really going to open it and never use it again. But you know, there you go. A lot of luxury products come with really nice boxes. Um, inside, we've got a lovely little bag here with a little uh, leather uh, pull strap, and we open this up. And inside we have the strap. So now I've uh, removed the uh, original uh, Lange strap from my Saxonia and uh, tr applied this, uh, you know, Camille Frenet leather strap here. Um, you know, as you can see, it's a beautiful fit. Uh, 19 millimeters lug to lug, uh, you know, 16 millimeters at the uh, buckle. So I, I didn't actually move over the Lange buckle, mainly because I don't intend to leave this strap on this watch for very long. I'm just trying this out today because, you know, you get something new, you want to try it. Um, the strap is really quite lovely. Um, it's a beautiful textured uh, textured leather, a uh, very fine texture, very nicely finished, nicely tanned. Um, on the inside, we have a uh, you know nice uh, tan uh, leather lining as well. Um, it is uh, stamped with the uh, you know Camille Fernet logo 
um, Paris, France, uh, you know, you can see the size here and everything. So it really does fit uh, quite nicely. Um, as is their, their typical case, they've got a captive loop and then a free floating loop um, here. So, uh, you know, that's pretty typical uh, for most watchmakers, but that's, you know, what Camille Frenet does. Uh, the buckle is rather large uh, and it doesn't have any kind of signature on it, which is, you know, honestly a little bit surprising in my opinion. So the uh, the strap, um, you know, it's 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 a good length for my wrist. Um, you know, you want to have a little bit of extra here so that it can go, you know, underneath the keepers uh, uh, nicely with a nice uh, little tail coming out of there. Um, the buckle is large um, and it has these sort of pointy parts coming off of it, but it doesn't really um, get in the way. It doesn't really hurt the wrist. Um, I do have some buck buckles that are just really uncomfortable on the back of the wrist, but this one's okay. Um, this won't live long on this watch, but uh, you know, it's always fun to try it out, uh, try out something new. And uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to wearing it. Uh, again, the, the difference here is just tremendous. The difference in quality of the leather. Um, I have, uh, and not to, to, to you know, cut them down or anything. Um, I've got straps from, uh, you know, D-Model, uh, from Hirsch uh, and from <laughs> whatever. And um, frankly, the difference in leather quality is really night and day. When you go from something like this, which is a really fine, you know, French leather, to a, um, you know, maybe a lesser uh, quality of leather, um, it really is noticeable, especially over the long term with wear and tear. And then when you step down to the frankly complete garbage that ships with a lot of watches, um, for example, I, uh, you might have read on my blog about the Chronotechna Ultimate Black Watch, which I finally received after waiting for more than a year and a half, uh, Kickstarter. Um, it came with literally the worst watch strap I've ever seen. Um, it is uh, made of leather, theoretically, but it is such uh, utter garbage, um, I can't even comprehend how poor quality it is. Um, I mean, the the attachment, the strap attachments are cracking, like right out of the box, brand new. Um, it's uncomfortable to wear because it's got all these rough edges on it and stuff. It's just really, really terrible. And, um, you know, when you compare that with something like this, um, you know, you see that uh, the, the cost difference really is worth the money. So, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, you can find more uh, from Grail Watch at grailwatch.com. You can find us on Twitter and uh, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, just look for Grail Watch there. And you'll also find more by me, Stephen Foskett, if uh, you go over to Europa Star. Uh, I've been writing for them recently. Um, my first piece uh, was published earlier this month uh, covering the uh, history of the IWC Da Vinci model, and you can find that online at europastar.com. I encourage you to join the club, uh, which gives you access to all of their content online. Uh, it's well worth uh, the money, which I think is uh, 99 euro a year. Um, it's a really great publication. Um, also, uh, in the future, I'll be writing more for them. In fact, I'm just working on an article right now about a very rare and interesting watch, the Longines uh, Ultra Quartz, which was in fact the first quartz uh, watch ever announced for production, um, four months before the Sacro Astron, uh, eight months before all the Beta 21 and Gerard Perigo and uh, you know the rest of those. Uh, so that's a really, really interesting uh, um, aspect of the history of watchmaking that uh, most folks aren't aware of. So uh, watch for that article and uh, for others from me on grailwatch.com and europastar.com. Thanks for watching.